Well, Sacramento business owners want to explore new powers to stop thieves. They want to use electric fences, but can they do this legally? New tonight, CBS 13's Jennifer McGraw is live at West Sacramento City Hall getting answers. Jennifer? Simon Christina, the state already passed a law that allows businesses to put up an electric fence, but it's up to each individual city to pass an ordinance. Modesto did it two weeks ago. Fresno's hearing it tonight, and so was West Sac. Barbed wire, fences, and state of the art security systems aren't enough to zap thieves. That's very frustrating. Countless parts stolen, caught fences, a nuisance for nearby West Capitol Avenue businesses. Where we just don't want anybody coming in here and damaging this product. So, Mark DeVito is trying to amp up security for his trucks with a new electric fence, something that's not currently permitted on his company's West Sac property. Then I do think it will help. Um, and obviously, if you're going to get shocked and electrocuted, uh, hopping a fence, you probably wouldn't do it. City leaders consider changing current code to allow businesses to install it. It does set off an alarm, just like uh, any home alarm. Cindy Williams with Electric Guard Dog says the fence delivers a 7,000 volt jolt to make criminals bolt. <laughs> But not enough to kill them. We call it a safe but memorable shock. So, what are the proposed rules West Sacramento is considering? The ordinance would be zoned for only certain commercial areas, must be surrounded first by a regular fence, and have warning signs in English, Spanish, and Russian. To come in contact with this electric fence, someone has to be uh, trespassing. We're looking forward to protecting our assets. DeVito says it could be a powerful deterrent that gives his business a better shot at success and would be criminals the shock of their lives. I hope the city notices that the extent of what we're doing to, to protect our, our property. And tonight, the city council voted to move forward with the proposal and will come back in October for a final approval. All right, Jennifer McGraw, live in West Sacramento. Jen, thanks.